for thousands of years, people have been trying to make things beautiful in this land. And it's really magical. I think people have a big connection to it. From the first time I arrived here, I felt something for this place. There are no distractions. There's beauty from every window. There's quiet. That's all it takes. Really a special place for us that we work here, but for guests as well. Leave something inside that is difficult to forget. You know, a lot of people who come here, they just say, you know, I just sense something here. There's something about the place itself. You just sense it and it gets to you and you fall in love with it and there's just an atmosphere here. We can't even quite put our fingers on it, but you, you feel it often. This is just, I think, a really unique place that ties in a lot of different aspects of sustainability, organic farming, food and wine and people. It's just a really great launching pad for me. And then it's just a really fun place to be. Posso continuare o no? Sì, 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 metti la mozzarella. If you're interested in the culture, if you're interested in the history, if you're interested in a genuine Tuscan experience, Italian experience, that's what you find here. Uh, we didn't come here to run a tourism or create a tourism business, so we increased the educational activity. So all the tourism is really based on the idea of educating uh, people. We always invite our visitors to come and you know, see the animal operation and try some of the products that we produce here. We have a little shop where they can buy our wine and our olive oil and our uh, salt-cured salumi products made from our, our heritage breed of pigs. All of the animals we have at Spanaki, all of the farm animals, are part of what we deem the Arca di Noe, which means a Noah's Ark project. All of the animals here at Spanakia were at one point in their recent history in danger of becoming extinct. And so in the course of the year we'll have something on the order of 30 seminars, workshops, uh, courses. And they are both academic with uh, typically an American university, uh, but also what we would call small group adult study tours. And so we have art programs, we have a ceramics program, writing seminars, all the people involved in those endeavors really come together here to form a, a type of community. With the interns, with the workers, uh, even with the guests, we like to share with them uh, what we believe in, what we are working for, so to make a strong community, to preserve a, a place. We do have a core staff of uh, experienced Italian uh, farm workers and maintenance workers. And each one of those has help, not through peasant farmers, sharecroppers, tenant farmers, but through our interns. And we have a program here where we bring in eight young people three times a year for three three-month sessions and they apprentice with our Italian staff. I jokingly refer to it as factions, but we have what I will call three factions. So we have Team Animali, we have Team Orto, and Tutto Fare. Um, Orto is the vegetable garden. Usually two interns will work with Carmen, who's the supervisor of the vegetable garden, and Carmen is single-handedly responsible for the production of all the vegetables we consume at Spanocchia during a year. We have a three different areas where we have the garden. One is this. This is uh, the old garden, is the old Tuscany system, terrace and the wall, terrace and the wall. Then the uh, Animali position is with Giulio as a supervisor and they uh, take care of all of the animals at Spanocchia and they're privy to every part of the process and they work really, really hard. I spend some time in what's called the Sala di Transformazione, the transformation room where you take the pigs and make it into the prosciutto and the salame and the soppressata, the capicolo. That's something you would not learn in the States from anyone because we don't do those cured meat products like that. 
Then Angelo is the supervisor for the Tutofare position and he looks after all of our vineyards and all of our olive orchards and he usually has three interns who work alongside him. This is the first labor. So we have to tie the branches to the posts so that uh, the sun can dry the, the grapes. Then we can't forget Leah who is our current uh, summer guest service intern. She works in the villa and she works alongside Daniela and Graziella and, and the, the cooks and that's where the kids work. They are for me the big, how do you say, aiuti. Grandi aiuto. The interns come from all over the world. They are primarily American and Canadian, but we've had many other nationalities as well. When I had found out about this place, I was looking for other similar opportunities and I couldn't find any. And for me, I learned so much. I got to do so many things that I would never have the opportunity to do otherwise. There's a full educational component which you don't have at other farms. So learning the food cultures of Italy or learning about specific things like wine or salumi production or honey or pasta, it's a really important part of understanding how we connect to the food that we eat. My grandmother was born in Italy, my grandfather was first generation, so I really wanted to learn a lot about the Italian history, culture, and cuisine in particular. And then beyond that, just the farming and forestry is in my background what I studied in college. The main idea is not that they get a training in specifically organic farming or guest service operations, though often they are, that is their specific interest. We provide them with a very interesting, genuine cultural experience. And so they get Italian lessons, they get educational field trips, they get formal educational presentations, all in addition to working with the farm staff as key members of this community. My reasons for being here transcend a lot of what other people consider important in a job. It's about conviviality, it's about commensality, it's about happiness, it's about all of these things that people don't really consider when they're working in an ordinary nine to five. We know how special this place is and how unique it is and how it differs from, from other places in, in Tuscany and also in, in the world. And that's what we want to preserve and, and perpetuate. So it all ties together, the tourism part of it, the education part of it, and the farming part of it. You know, all complement each other in necessary and positive ways. Why are we at Spinocchia specifically is because I, I think we really agree with their, uh, their outlook about sustainable um, the agriculture, slow food. Um, the, the food is a big part of why we're here. Food is central to Tuscan culture and we are so fortunate to have a cook who uh, grew up not just in Tuscany but on this property. You know, learned to cook from her mother and grandmother, I'm sure. And the only things she knows how to cook are the totally typical traditional, you know, Tuscan foods. The thing that I am most passionate about is, is education and that can be done for me very easily through food and I love to do it and I love to see the changes on people's face when you talk to them about a, sal a salami or when you talk to them about a bottle of olive oil. And you don't only talk about the food and the, you know, the boring sort of technological aspect of it, but you can also bring in things like history and ethnography and anthropology and all of these things that people don't usually consider when they put something in their mouth. And Spinocchi is the perfect platform from which to, to talk to people about that. Allora, this is our stanza of prosciutti. Questi sono gli ultimi che abbiamo lavorato. Very, very fundamentally important to the experience here um, that we serve a traditional Tuscan dinner you know, every evening to, to our guests and, and students and interns. Um, every other Wednesday we do a pizza night. On alternate Wednesdays we do a dinner that we call Nostra Cena, which means our dinner. This Wednesday we have a pizza night, so the interns, that's another one of their responsibilities. It's an exciting time to be at Spodokia. Bene! This is a great experience for the interns. For most of them, after the three months, they have something that they can see for their future. So. I just think it's so important and I wish it was, I want to I wanna somehow bring it back to the States more, especially in my community.
that's the beauty of the internship program because it's little changes and little connections that branch out and, and really have the ability to affect how a lot more people um, live and eat and work and all of these things. It's been a, a growth experience in having to just accept things and, and learn from other people instead of writing with what you think is true and that leaves a window open for learning and um, opening your mind up to different ways. So I thought I had all the answers but I didn't. <laughs> it was a really important, important three months, just a really special experience that yeah doesn't exist in many other places, if at all. There may be things, you know, ups and downs, um, but it all just naturally works. Everyone does their part because everyone's heart, as long as their heart's here, it's gonna work. I've come back, you know, just as a visitor since I've done my internship, and it's really magical. I think people have a big connection to it. I've seen friends of mine who got married here who've come back just to visit again and relive it. You see people come back again and again. We have interns who came here almost 20 years ago that we're still in touch with on a, on a regular basis that we see back in the United States that return here. Um, and we see in the careers that they're following the connections they have, we see the result. But also even people who come here on vacation. I mean, I've had more than one people say, you know, my experience here changed my life. We don't live the same way anymore. Anytime you go somewhere else in the world, away from your home, you get a little paradigm shift, you get a different perspective. So I think people come here and they sort of, if you come here from Turkey and you see a bunch of Americans, you see the Italians, you see this incredible, you know, 800 year historic Italian estate, and I think you learn something from that. It doesn't matter what your focus is for, for coming here, with if you've come as an autonomous guest or if you have come as part of a program. This unique Spanokia experience is, is available to everybody. I've had people say, you know, I've seen them 10 years after they left here. They said, you know, there isn't a day that goes by that I don't think about my experience in Spanakia.